let the record reflect. We have reconvened with all members present. Uh, Councilman Ostry Bailey is uh, absolutely excused. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. All right, may I have a motion for the executive minutes of June 28th, 2021. So moved. Second. All right, thank you. And they've already been discussed in executive. So all in favor? Aye. Okay, and Harry, and a motion for the, um, sorry, I have to go back and forth. Means regular minutes of June 28th, 2021. So moved. Second. Any discussion? I, I sent the clerk a very um, minor comment about a typo, but other than that, no comments. That's a, that's a All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Uh, welcome all. I hope uh, you all had a great uh, Fourth of July weekend. The weather was not the best, but um, it was a, um, I guess we could have a say a, a transitional 4th of July as you got to see some, some of the traditions happening again and some that uh, will be coming back next year. Um, and uh, as we are in this uh, interesting, very interesting weather pattern of very hot weather and very disrupt, uh, scary disruptive storms coming through, uh, we appreciate all our residents that are doing the best to um, keep the power usage down on the hot days when uh, the uh, grid is stressed and I uh, want to thank our um, electric, uh, depart electric department and DPW and all that uh, respond to uh, this storm damage as goes through. There's quite a bit of uh, outages in some of the recent storms, but very, very little uh, disruption right here in Madison. So uh, we're proud of everything. Um, and for the employees for the months of uh, July for the borough, Vincent, Patty and uh, Kevin French from the Electric Utility Department, um, our employees month of July for the four, for four weeks, Vincent and uh, Kevin worked closely with American Electro Electrical Testing Company replacing eight circuit relays at the James Park substation. This work, which was outside of their classification, saved the borough tens of thousands of dollars. The inspectors from uh, utility engineers were uh, very impressed with the linemen's wiring skills and uh, Vince and Kevin have now also taught a class to the rest of the electric department to share their newly gained knowledge. So uh, we greatly appreciate them stepping forward, doing above and beyond and saving our residents uh, tens of thousands of dollars. So please congratulate them if you see them. And um, for our anniversaries for July, on July 7th, Jim Finelli of the Water Utility Department celebrated 35 years and Jack Dunn from the fire department will celebrate 30 years this Thursday, July 15th. So please congratulate them. And now we move on to reports from uh, committees. And it's uh, public safety, Maureen Byrne. And Thank also you. if you have anything for uh, finance borough clerk for Austria, if you cover that also. Yes. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, from the fire department, during the month of June, the fire department responded to 21 general alarms, 16 still alarms, 28 investigations, 33 medical calls for a total of 98 calls for the month. They had two department drills were held, uh, two, two, excuse me, 20 fire prevention inspections were conducted and 34, 35 smoke and CO resale certificates were issued. Volunteer firefighter Troy Bahawick's transition to the career division of the fire department with his first day on the job being tomorrow, July 13th. Troy follows in the footsteps of his father, Captain Ed Bahawick, who retired from the Madison Fire Department in July of 1997. We wish Troy a long and safe career. From the police department, Corporal Stephanie Aquino was certified in National Child Passenger Safety Certification following her one week training course. 
This course certifies this officer in child car seat installation and inspection. For residents wishing to make an appointment, conduct our community relations unit at 973-593-3035. The Madison Police Department was awarded a New Jersey State grant to purchase new body-worn cameras for all officers, which will have replaced their current body-worn cameras that are coming to the end of their life. Madison officers have been wearing body-worn cameras for four years, and Madison Police Department was the second agency in Morris County to do so. And finally, from the Traffic Safety Bureau, working together with engineering and road departments, installed a crosswalk and pedestrian signage at the intersection of Greenwood Avenue and Elmer Street. Pedestrian ramps should be installed in the next couple of weeks. And from the Finance Department, from the Tax Collector's Office, the state passed their budget and we are now waiting for the county to certify our tax rate, which we hope will happen tomorrow. If we do get the certified tax rate tomorrow, then the tax collector's office will, will print up and mail out the property tax bills this week. Those bills will have a payment deadline of August 1st, but note there is a grace period with no interest and penalties if the payment is received by, the, by August 10th. Note, we said received, not posted in the mail. This could change based on the county, so please visit rosenet.org for the most up-to-date information. Alternately, there are a couple of options for property owners that may be out of town during the next few weeks who want to avoid penalties and interest because of the short turnaround time. First, you can visit rosenet.org to pay property tax bills online. You just need your checking account and routing number. Second, you can mail in a check now for an estimated amount based on your last quarterly property tax bill. As always, feel free to contact the tax collector's office if you have questions. From the finance department, as part of the tax collection and budget process, the Board of Education sends the borough a tax requisition schedule which details the monthly payments that the borough must make to the BOE. Administration received a new schedule late last week. The total amount for the next 12 months is $45,593,43. And this Thursday, we will be wiring $3,634,154.75. On a different note, this evening, there are two items to note on the agenda that involve a grant. Resolution 208 accepts a state grant award of $81,520 for the Madison Police Department for new body-worn cameras. The current cameras were purchased five years ago. Resolution 209 amends the budget so we can accept the grant. This is a ministerial but important action we must take with the New Jersey Department of Community Affairs so we can spend the funds. The budget amendment is cash neutral and that both appropriations and revenues are increased by $81,520. The body worn cameras will be 100% funded by the grant, so there's no impact on taxes or the borough's financial position. That's it. Thank you. Very much for covering both public works and engineering. Mr. Hoover. Thank you, Mayor. Yes, thank you, Mayor. For engineering, miscellaneous sidewalk replacements across Madison will begin, will begin as soon as the concrete reconstruction work is completed at the road reconstruction project. Funding assistance requests were submitted last week to NJTOT for the Municipal Aid 2022 grant round Waverly Place $450,000 and to NJ Green Acres Urban Aid Dodge Playground $350,000. An extension request was submitted to New Jersey Historic Trust State, Garden State, Preservation Fund for the East Wing Restoration Project of $150,000. A full application to the 2022 Morris County Trails Program, Memorial Park Trails, $245,000, will also be submitted this month. Based on several quotes, a contract is being recommended to AC Schultes Incorporated to refurbish Pump two at the water well AB treatment plant this fall. The DPW, Ken O'Brien has been working with the DPW superintendents of Chatham Borough, Chatham Township, Morris Plains and Morris Township on a shared, a regional shared service initiative involving large equipment and vehicles to potentially avoid the large capital expense duplicated in multiple towns when the equipment or vehicles are not needed for daily use. 
Each town has completed a detailed survey of existing equipment and vehicles, plus a projection of future needs. New Jersey Department of Community Affairs has approved a $90,000 grant to support a detailed feasibility study of this project. EPW was busy last week due to the unsettled weather and impact of Tropical Storm Elsa, resulting in scattered debris, down trees and branches, and blocked storm drains throughout the town. I'd like to call your attention to two items on the consent agenda. Resolution 201-2021 authorizes a new drop box at the DPW yard with green tree textiles to receive used shoes, garments, and textiles that are recycled for use, not sold. Resolution 206-2021 awards a contract for the purchase of a hook, lift, truck, and accessories, which gives DPW the ability to pick up leaves, spread sand, and brine, and plow. Previously, trucks were dedicated to each function and could not easily be converted for multiple uses. This purchase eliminates the obstacle and increases productivity and efficiency. For the Recreation Department, the fall schedule is being ramped up to start on Monday, August 2nd, and some programming for the Madison Basketball Associ Association, Junior Girls Softball, Little League, the Madison Soccer Club, and other groups will begin to wind down over the next few weeks. The fall session will have more recreational opportunities and fewer limitations than last year. Thank you. Accordingly, the fall schedule has been completed and represents a very full slate of programming, but limited windows of availability do remain. Please reach out to Zach Ellis at recreation at rosenet.org if you would like to book time at one of our facilities. Rental revenue for 2021 is now projected to return to pre-pandemic levels and exceed $30,000. Thanks to all of the rental groups for their continued cooperation and patronage. And finally, we have begun quotes are being sought and evaluated pertaining to potential field improvement projects at Rosedale Baseball Complex and the Tory J Baseball Field. These projects would be aimed at improving drainage and playability. There is no firm timeline for these projects, but the intention is to complete them as soon as possible with this fall as the target. From the Environmental Commission, the Madison Environmental Commission is partnering with the Great Watershed Swamp Association to rejuvenate the rain gardens at Madison Recreation Center. Residents were asked to volunteer and respond to them. Excellent. Plastic Free July is a national movement the MEC is supporting. Residents are reminded to bring reusable bags for lettuce, vegetables, and produce at the grocery store and the farmer's market. They can also bring their own containers or restaurant leftovers and skip cutlery and plastic straws when ordering takeout. Reusable mugs, water bottles, and containers for iced coffee are also advised. The Shade Tree Management, the Shade, the Shade Tree board members are conducting a survey of every Madison street in order to document trees that should be removed or pruned and potential 2020 planting sites. This survey and the results should be available at the end of the month. That's all, Mayor, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now community affairs, Ms. Cohen. Thank you, Mayor. Um, first of all, I'm not sure why I'm looking purple tonight. Something's up with, <laughs> with the lighting. Um, just a couple of things from DDC. Bottle Hill Day is scheduled for Saturday, October 2nd, along with the Chamber and PBA um, 92 Car Show. Uh, if you're interested in being a sponsor to participate, you can email ddc at rosenet.org. Don't forget to visit the Farmer's Market every Thursday between 1 and 6. Of uh, new news, the Borough of Madison is embarking on the development of a wayfinding system. The new system will help people find their way and encourage visitors to discover our attractions and community assets. The Borough has hired Merge to develop the system. Merge is a nationally recognized design firm with specific expertise in community wayfinding. Merge has provided a link to a survey they are asking to everyone to complete to help them in the discovery phase of the project. During this stage, the consultants will be gathering information that will help inform the design of the system. Your feedback is extremely valuable to this process. The survey link can be found on the I Love Madison, New Jersey Facebook page and will remain live until July 20th, or you can also email ddc at rosenet.org to receive the link. There is a Red Cross blood drive uh, at the Art Center tomorrow from one to seven. And that's all I've got tonight, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you very much. And utilities, Ms. Ehrlich. Thank you, Mayor. The electric department completed the new electrical utility upgrade for four community place and the development being constructed there. And the new upgraded service to 
317 Main Street, which is Burger King location, has also been completed. During the week of June 28th, the department re replaced three pole top transformers that were overloaded due to the excessive heat. And on July 6th, the standby crew was called out for a power outage at 100 North Street, where the fuse on the transformer had tripped from lightning and had to be reset. Uh, the crew was also called to Five Hillcrest Road, where a fallen tree had taken the service off the house. The standby crew secured the area and remounted the service after the homeowner's tree company removed the fallen tree. The electric department continues to work with Penn Globe Company on upgrading our vintage style lampposts downtown to retrofit them for new LED lighting. This upgrade offers multiple improvements in energy savings, decreased maintenance and replacement costs, and fixture longevity, all while maintaining the gas lantern aesthetic. The water department reminds us that odd and even watering days are still in effect for the rest of the summer. Please remember to refrain from watering when the sun is up because 50% of the water used during daylight hours is lost due to evaporation. The water department repaired the fountains at Coles Park and the Dog Park, as well as two fixtures at the health center. And they replaced curb boxes at 3 Britton Street, 11 Oxford Lane, and 140 Central Avenue. That's all from utilities. Thank you very much. And health, Phil Andrian. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, COVID-19 activity in Madison remains low. Madison continues to report only 878 total confirmed cases with no new cases reported uh, this month. The impact of variants, including the Delta variant, which is becoming the dominant variant in many cases, is being monitored by the, the New Jersey Department of Health and the CDC. Vaccines remain the best way to prevent or reduce the severity of the diseases for all COVID-19 infections, including those caused by known variants. Uh, as of Friday, 77% of Madison adults have been fully vaccinated. And finally, adults can obtain single dose Johnson & Johnson vaccines from the Madison Health Department. Clinics are being offered on Tuesdays throughout the month of July. Other local pharmacies and healthcare facility vaccine sites are available to all residents. Visit rosenet.org for updates on New Jersey vaccination programs, COVID-19 testing and other pandemic guidance. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. And now we're on to communications and petitions. Any received? Yes, Mayor. Um, Mayor and Council received an email dated June the 28th from Neil Sanderson objecting to the funding of basketball courts at um, Memorial Park. Another email on June the 28th from Suzanne and Sean Graham of Knollwood Avenue objecting to the basketball and pickleball next to the community pool area. An email dated June the 30th from Irene Schmidt of Longview. Avenue objecting to any basketball court at the Madison Community Pool area, and an email dated July 9th from Bob Morris of New Street in Bloomfield regarding the corrupt court system threatening open space funding. There was an email dated July 10th from uh, Chris Holland of Lo Locust Street containing 1,185 electronic signatures in support of new um, active recreation projects proposed at Memorial Park. That's it. Thank you very much. And now we're on our first two invitations for discussion. Uh, please listen carefully to the guidelines on this uh, session. This is limited to agenda discussions, which there are none today, so you cannot comment on any of that. So you're only limited to uh, commenting on our resolutions. If you wish to comment on a ordinance that has a hearing, you will do so during that ordinance hearing. If you wish to comment on other ordinances that are for introduction or other topics, please wait for the second uh, uh, time for comment. Here are our resolutions so you understand what is part of the consent agenda and what you can comment on. Resolution 198 is appointing William T. Smith Esquire to position of arbitration attorney for the Borough of Madison. This is working with a joint court, uh, $150 an hour, which is split four ways. Resolution 199, is uh, appointing Michael Pellessier, our communications coordinator, to the position of the Zoom coordinator for the Borough of Madison. This is a 2021 position, stipend for the full year is $6,000. And this reflects the change of job for the countless meetings and not only covering countless meetings, uh, not just council meetings, planning board, zoning board, uh, and more than I can uh, 
account for right now, uh, but also preparing the borough for the Zoom world, and it will continue into the fall as we move into the hybrid world. Uh, resolution 200 is um, approving special permit to use of Memorial Park parking lot by Car Karen Giordano for bus trip activity. Resolution 201 is a resolution authorizing the recycling bin as mentioned by uh, council member Hoover. Resolution 202 is uh, submitting the uh, governor's uh, council on alcohol, alcoholism and drug abuse grant cycle for July 2020 to June 2025. They, this would be um, a grant of $6,610. We have a, a cash match of $1,600 in kind match of 4,900. Resolution 203 is resolution appointing Victor Deo to position of substitute crossing guard. Resolution 204 is approving a salary increase for Robert Duffy. This, he's in a part-time position. The salary would be $26.53, moving up to $34 and reflects the responsibilities of that position. Resolution 205, resolution authorizing special event permit to allow use of Memorial Park Parking lot by the North Stars Athletic Club for a car show on October 9th, 2021. Resolution 206 is awarding contract to Allegiant Trucks for the purchase of international hook and lift truck accessories under source well. And this was um, also mentioned by Council Member Hoover, uh, $257,000 funded by Ordinance 24, 2021. Ordinance 2007 is a contract to uh, Prax Air Distribution for purchase of Millimatic MIG welder and accessories uh, for the amount of 5,400 funded through ordinance 25 2021. Resolution 208 is resolution accepting New Jersey um, body warrant grant. And uh, then resolution 209 is the adjustments to the budget as uh, reported by Councilman uh, or Council President Byrne. Resolution 210 is awarding a contract to Cephali and Sons for curb and sidewalk replacement improvements under the Educational Data Services Cooperative Bid um, process. It's not to exceed 50,000 and funded through Ordinance 8 2021. So those are the uh, resolutions you make comment on, and those are the only things you may comment on at this point. Please raise your hand if you wish to uh, comment on any of those topics. See, oh, I, okay, I do have one. So uh, again, the guidelines of this part is when you are called up, please state your name, your address, and immediately state the resolution you are commenting on and, and try to keep your comments to three minutes, but we give you one minute grace period and we'll stop you at um, four minutes. Bridget Daly. Hi, I just want to say that, can you hear me? Yep, that's the, in the usual state, even though I recognize yeah. your, your name and address. Yeah, we, we okay, that. oh yes, great. Hi, this is Bridget Daly, 28 Keep Street. Um, I just want to say that I, I, you know, I love that we're, um, the resolution to uh, bring in a, a bin for recycling of textiles. Uh, um, I, I, what I think is really cool about this is that it's a nonprofit organization and it accepts uh, clothing that is useful, which it can pass on to communities that can um, use clothing that can be repurposed. Uh, but then also what's challenging is what do you do with old sneakers, old clothing that is worn out and can't be reused and that they take it and they turn it into insulation. So um, I re I'm really grateful that the borough is moving forward with this. And I just wanted to say thank you. I think it's a great thing. Thank you very much, Bridget, and greatly appreciate your additional background on that. It's a great uh, use is number one, and we can't reuse, we recycle. So that will help the process. Seeing other, other hands raised, we uh, close the uh, invitation for discussion number one. And, and as mentioned already, there are no agenda discussions today. So we move on to, to hearing uh, ordinances for hearing. Will the clerk please read the statement? Unmute my phone. Okay, ordinance is scheduled for hearing were introduced by title and passed on first reading at the regular meeting of the council held on June the 28th, 2021. They were posted and filed according to law and copies were made available to the general public requesting same. Okay, I call up ordinances for second reading. Ask the clerk to read said ordinance by title, ordinance 30-2021. 
Ordinance of the Borough of Madison amending chapter 195 of the Borough Code entitled Land Development to prohibit the operation of any class of cannabis businesses within the geographical boundaries of the Borough of Madison. I open the hearing for ordinance, and I just skipped past the number there. Ordinance 30, anyone wishing to comment, please raise your hand. Hey, and we'll call up Eric Range. And again, the guidelines are state your name and address. Comment, try to keep your comments to three minutes or less, but there'll be a uh, one minute grace. And, um, and you are only commenting on Ordinance 30. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, Eric Range, Fellow Avenue, Madison. Uh, as, I, as I said during a previous uh, comment period on, on this topic, um, you know, I'm fully supportive of this ordinance at this time uh, to ban the use until such time that uh, the regulations from the cannabis uh, group at the state uh, becomes more clear. But I do hope that uh, once all of those regulations are published, that the borough council does uh, revisit this topic and see if under the state guidelines, it makes sense to have such an operation in Madison and that we know that this isn't uh, forever and always to quote the governor's favorite phrase during his pandemic things, um, you know, to make sure that that we're revisiting when we do have all the information that, that we're looking for. So um, again, I think this is a, a good intermediate step, but I do hope we'll revisit in the future. Thank you very much. Anyone else wishing to comment, please raise your hand now. Seeing none, I close the hearing. You're, you're, you're muted, Maureen. Sorry. Mayor, I move Ordinance 30 2021. Second. Right. Any council discussion? A roll call vote, please. Ms. Byrne? Yes. Mr. Hoover? Yes. Ms. Cohen? Yes. Ms. Ms. Herlich? Yes. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. I declare Ordinance 30 2021 adopted and finally passed. and ask the clerk to publish notice there in the news newspaper and file the ordinance according to the law. I now call Ordinance 31 2021. Ordinance of the Borough of Madison amending Chapter 195 of the Borough Code entitled Land Development to include a preliminary environmental checklist. I open the hearing on Ordinance 31. Anyone wishing to comment, please raise your hand. Seeing none, I close the hearing. Mayor, I move Ordinance 31-2021. Second. Any council discussion? Again, this is coming from the planning board and uh, checklist to assist in the uh, environmental uh, impact on applications. Okay, roll call vote, please. Ms. Byrne? Yes. Mr. Hoover? Yes. Ms. Cohen? Yes. Ms. Ehrlich? Yes. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. I declare Ordinance 31 2021 adopted and finally passed and ask the clerk to publish notice there in the newspaper and file the ordinance according to the law. Ordinance 32 2021. Ordinance of the Borough of Madison appropriating $225,000 from the General Capital Improvement Fund for the 2021 Sanitary Sewer Improvement Program. I open the hearing for Ordinance 32. Anyone wishing to comment, please raise your hand now. Seeing none, I close the hearing. Mayor, I move Ordinance 32-2021. Second. Any council discussion? Roll call vote, please. Ms. Byrne? Yes. Mr. Hoover? Yes. Ms. Cohen? Yes. Ms. Ehrlich? Yes. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. I declare Ordinance 32 2021 adopted and finally passed and ask the clerk to publish no notice there of a newspaper and file the ordinance according to the law. Ordinance 33 2021. Ordinance of the Borough of Madison appropriating $100,000 from the General Capital Improvement Fund for the purchase of fiber and other security equipment. I open the hearing. Anyone in the public to the comment, please raise your hand now. Seeing none, I close the hearing. Mayor, I move Ordinance 33-2021. Second. Any council discussion? 
Roll call vote, please. Ms. Byrne? Yes. Mr. Hoover? Yes. Ms. Cohen? Yes. Ms. Ehrlich? Yes. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. I declare ordinance 33 2021 on top of it finally passed and asked the clerk to publish notice there in the newspaper and file the ordinance according to the law. Ordinance 34 2021. Ordinance of the Borough of Madison appropriating $25,000 from the General Capital Improvement Fund for building repairs and renovations at the Public Works Garage. I open the hearing for Ordinance 34. Anyone in the public wishing to comment, please raise your hand now. Seeing none, I close the hearing. Mayor, I move Ordinance 34 2021. Second. Any council discussion? Roll call vote, please. Ms. Byrne? Yes. Mr. Hoover? Yes. Ms. Cohen? Yes. Ms. Ehrlich? Yes. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. I declare Ordinance 34 2021 adopted and finally passed. I ask the clerk to publish notice there of a newspaper and follow the ordinance in accordance with the law. Ordinance 35 2021. Ordinance of the Borough of Madison appropriating $350,000 from the Municipal Open Space Recreation and Historic Preservation Trust Fund for remediation and construction of the Madison Recreation Complex Trail Project. I open the hearing on Ordinance 35. Anyone wishing to comment, please raise your hand now. Seeing none, I close the hearing. Mayor, I move Ordinance 35 2021. Second. Any council discussion? Roll call vote, please. Ms. Byrne? Yes. Mr. Hoover? Yes. Ms. Cohen? Yes. Ms. Ehrlich? Yes. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. I declare Ordinance 35 2021 adopted and finally passed. I ask the clerk to publish notice, of, notice thereof in the newspaper and file the ordinance according to the law. And now we move on to the second of uh, our invitations for discussion. This is when you may comment on any topic under the same guidelines before. When you are recognized, please um, state your name and address. Try to keep comments to uh, three minutes, but we give you a one minute grace period and you will be stopped at four. And uh, Claire Whitcomb. Hi, I'm Claire Whitcomb, 12 Fairwood Road. I just wanna say this meeting is going like an express train to, to to like it's just going so fast i haven't been able to keep up um i wanted to make a comment about the preliminary environmental checklist and um to, to thank the planning board and susan blickstein in particular for drafting up something that is amazingly progressive um it addresses ev parking it you know kind of asks are you going to be solar ready it it, it cues uh people who are applying um to build in madison um for all the things that are sort of aligning with the, the governor's energy master plan you know is, is is can the building be electric there's it it's a it's a voluntary set of guidelines but it, it's it it um kind of sends a message that this is what our master plan says which is that um, madison wants to be an environmental leader and um an example of sustainability and resiliency and the 66 percent of our our carbon footprint comes from the built environment so if we're going to ever get uh ahead of climate change this is one area that needs to be addressed and i'm so proud of this checklist i mean in all these working groups i think we're the only town that really has something this progressive so congratulations and thank you all very much Clara, thank you for your comments and um the, while the items on there that it brings up are uh, are not mandatory, the checklist itself is mandatory. So anyone doing development will be filling it in. And as you said, it, it really takes a great step in alerting them to what the priorities are for Madison and the approval process of something that we might be able to require that may not be otherwise. Anyone else wishing to comment, please raise your hand now. Seeing none, I close this part of the meeting and we Move on to introduction of ordinances. Will the clerk please read the statement? Ordinances scheduled for first reading have a hearing date set for July the 26th, 2021. All will be published in the Madison Eagle, posted on the bulletin board, and made available to members of the public requesting copies. I call up ordinances for first reading. Ask the borough clerk to read said ordinances by title, Ordinance 36 2021. 
Ordinance of the Borough of Madison amending chapter 185-30 of the Borough Code to prohibit parking during certain hours on Del Barton Drive. Mayor, I move Ordinance 36-2021. Mayor, I, I second it. Any council discussion? Okay, roll call vote, please. Ms. Byrne? Yes. Mr. Hoover? Yes. Ms. Cohen? Yes. Ms. Ehrlich? I take <laughs> you did see, yes. we did see it. There we go. <laughs> and Mr. Landrigan? Yes. Okay, ordinance 37 2021. Ordinance of the Borough of Madison appropriating $75,000 from the Affordable Housing Trust Fund for the conversion of existing rental units at John Avenue to multiple units. Mayor, I move ordinance 37 2021. Second. And council discussion, just for background, the, the, currently these were, they were two four bedroom units are being converted to four two bedroom units and will be uh, providing us uh, credits towards our obligation for, and uh, legal obligation, but moral obligation, providing uh, housing. And the, there is a much higher demand for two bedroom than the four, four bedroom. Any further council discussion? Roll call vote, please. Ms. Byrne? Yes. Mr. Hoover? Yes. Ms. Cohen? Yes. Ms. Ehrlich? Yes. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. All right, we move on to consent agenda resolutions. Will the clerk please, please read the statement? Consent agenda resolutions will be enacted with a single motion. Any resolution requiring expenditure is supported by a certification of availability of funds. Any resolution requiring discussion will be removed from the consent agenda. All resolutions will be reflected in full in the minutes. Mayor, I move resolution 190H 2021 to resolution 210-2021. Second. Good. Thank you. Any uh, any that need to be pulled or any discussion? Roll call vote, please. Ms. Byrne? Yes. Mr. Hoover? Yes. Ms. Cohen? Yes. Ms. Ehrlich? Yes. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. Great. There is no one finished business. Um, and now we move on to the approval of vouchers. Will the clerk please read the voucher total? Yes, for the current fund, $84,529.06. For the general capital fund, $238,221.06. The electric operating fund, $133,630.19. And for the water operating fund, $18,436.98. The water capital fund, $14,800. And from the trust, $92,000. $587.89. The total is $582,205.18. I have a motion, please. Mayor, Mayor, I move the vouchers. Second. And uh, any council discussion? <laughs> Roll call vote, please. Ms. Byrne? Yes. Mr. Hoover? Yes. Ms. Cohen? Yes. Ms. Ehrlich? Yes. Mr. Landrigan? Yes. All right, and there is no uh, new business, so Mr. Landrigan. Mayor, I move that we adjourn. Second. Sec All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. And uh, yes, it is July and uh, our load is a little lighter, so uh, shorter than normal meeting. We will see you everyone in two weeks. Take Perfect care. Peace. Good night. <laughs> well, Good night.